Okay, hi guys, uh, I'm Daniel. Uh, I'm going to be taking you guys for a short sort of uh, introduction to advanced uh, particles. Um, we're going to be taking a look at um, using particle systems, particle instancing, and um, setting triggered um, particle responses off of objects. Um, so we're going to be uh, basically firing a whole load of uh, particles into this mountain side. Um, we're going to be instancing geometry to them, so we can fire some rockets in there. And then from there, we're going to be triggering off multiple particle systems, which will be then exploding at certain points, and then triggering off particle systems within those particle systems, and then others within those, and so on. Uh, so hopefully at the end of this, it will look like a whole load of carnage. Okay, um, so you should all have um, the scene loaded up, uh, Mountains and Rockets 01. Um, just to take you through what we've got, it's very simple. Uh, we've got a very simple piece of geometry just to represent some mountains. Obviously you have to use your imagination with everything we're doing today. Uh, these particles going in are going to be rockets, and well, we've got we rocket geometry, um, but our explosions, obviously we could be throwing fluid systems through these explosions as well, so we get proper volumetric explosions with fire and smoke and all that kind of stuff. We're going to get something along those lines, but it's more representative rather than actually rendering up to the uh, uh, advanced uh, fluid system. Okay, so uh, yeah, we've got our geometry for our uh, mountain. We've also got um, this piece of geometry which represents our rocket. Um, so the first thing we're going to start to do is just uh, send a volley of rockets into our uh, into our mountain side. So the first thing we're going to do is start off by uh, just creating a particle emitter. Um, so first we'll just go up into the dynamics menu set. I'm going to go across to particles and I'm going to click on the box next to create emitter. Okay, so uh, we've just gone up and created a particle emitter through particles create emitter, clicked on the box. Now we're going to be using a volume emitter because that's going to allow us to, uh, to give a bit of a, a depth to our um, uh, volume particles. Um, so I'm just going to go into where it says emitter type. I'm just going to go in there and click on volume. Now once you've done that, uh, we'll leave all of the rest of the attributes as they are. Just hit create. Okay, now your volume emitter will be created in the centre of the world. First thing I'm going to do is just move it off along the z-axis, off to the side here. And you can see at the moment, our particle is showing us that it's going to be outputting our particles in every direction. So if I just hit play now, actually uh, let's set a decent amount of frames. If you could just go in and down in the top bottom right hand corner here, just type 300 frames and then hit play just to see what we're getting here. So you can see my particles, I might just make that a little bit easier to see. If I hit Alt B, I can change my background color. That's probably the best. Okay, so you can see these particles being emit um, omnidirectionally. Now, I'm just going to change a few attributes on that. So I'm just selecting the emitter. I'm just going to go into the emitter one attributes in the attribute editor. I'm just going to go down to my volume speed attributes. Now the reason why this is emitting in every direction at the moment is because of my away from center speed. At the moment that's set to 1. I'm going to set that to 0. <coughs> now as you'll see, if I hit play now, these particles are just going to be created static inside of that volume. Now what I need them to do is emit along the local y-axis of this, um, of this uh, volume emitter. Sorry, um, what was the discharge then? Uh, that was the away from center speed. It's under the volume speed attributes. And I've just set that to zero. Okay, now I'm going to add some um, along axis speed. And I'm actually just going to set that to 10 for now. I'm probably going to have to play with that. but. 
you'll see now these will fire out along the local y-axis. Cool. Okay, so as I said, the whole point of us using an emitter like this was so that we could um, kind of elongate the volume of um, particles. So I'm just going to go to my scale tool and I'm going to scale along the x-axis. So now when I hit play, I've scaled it by the way round about just slightly smaller than the size of the, um, the mountain that you can see there. So when we hit play, we're now getting almost like a wall of particles. Okay, now you guys don't necessarily need to do this, but just for your benefit, so you can see these particles a little better, um, I'm just gonna go in and change the display of my particle. Um, so I'm just gonna change these to display as spheres, uh, make them slightly smaller. It's just so that you guys can see these a little bit easier uh, on the screen there. There you go. Okay, now um, these particles that we're firing currently, I want them to aim towards the mountain, so I'm just going to rotate the emitter um, about 45 degrees-ish, not, not exactly, but you can see I'm just pointing it sort of inwards towards those mountains. So, we move it that way. And the next thing that I need to do, get them well, a little bit stuff to go. Let me just change that background color. There you go. Um, the next thing I need to do is get them to fall with gravity. Is everybody good up to this point? Uh, oh, I, I changed the size by going into the particle shape node, going down to the render attributes, and I changed these to spheres. Um, and then I also had to, uh, if, I, if I click on add attributes to current render type, I then lowered the radius. But as I said, this is just so that you guys can see this better. You, you don't necessarily need that. Okay. So now I've done that, I want to apply some gravity to our, um, to our particles. I'm going to select the particle system. I'm going to go to Fields and Gravity. Make sure you have the particle selected. Go to Fields, Gravity. By having the particle selected, they will uh, automatically apply. And then you start the part. Is that a simple box? Uh, what's that? Oh, uh, play it through. Uh, play it through slightly first. Right. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to this for a moment. Um, I'm just going to turn this off for a couple of minutes just to give it a breather. Um, be two seconds. Sorry about this. Cool. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what, let's do this slightly blind. In the meantime, um, we need to, we've applied the gravity, uh, we need to get the speed uh, working on our particles so that they kind of volley towards the back of the um, uh, of the mountains. Um, but we also want a good coverage um, within the front of the mountains as well. Now, if you go into your particle um, uh, emitter, go to emitter one, and what you'll need to do is adjust the along axis speed, so I mean it's falling obviously a little bit too slow right now, so that needs to probably go up. What you'll also need to do is so that we can randomise, so that some of the particles go further and some go um, less.